With the World Championships out of the way, the Snowboard Cross Racers were back in action on the World Cup Tour in Sierra Nevada, Spain. In Andalusia province, one of Europe's most southerly ski and snowboard resorts, but this place has a lot of pedigree hosting the 2017 World Championships. The big final featured at Amshakova, the world champion, Lindsay Jacobellis, Charlotte Banks and Chloe Trapush. Charlotte Banks having to come through the field, making a great pass on Chloe Trapush to get into the lead. And once Banks gets out in front, it is so difficult to get past the British racer. Banks held that lead, but she was pushed hard right to the finish line by Trapush and a photo finish was needed to separate the two riders. In the end, though, it went to Charlotte Banks from Great Britain. 100 World Cup points for her. Chloe Trapush in second for France and Lindsay Jacobellis getting third for the USA. Was it a man for the not so good working World Championships for you? Um, I think I just reset and went on to the next World Cups. We got a good end to the season, so I just wanted to come back strong and give it my best. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a big battle out there with the girls and yeah, we had fun today. Jackie Ellis racks up another World Cup podium. The 2022 Olympic champion, Chloe Trapush, Maybe about to lose her lead at the top of the standings with it being a double header here in Sierra Nevada. In the men's final, Lucas Aguibar was wearing the yellow bib. He was the winner last time the Snowboard Cross World Cup Tour raced in Sierra Nevada. And the Spanish rider using all of the local knowledge to hold off the two Italians, Vicentin and Sabariva, with Lombazolo from France in the final as well. But Aguibar too fast for everybody today, although Vicentin pushed him hard towards the line. It was a home win for Spain and Lucas Aguibar. 100 World Cup points going his way, 80 to Vicentin in second, Samariva picking up 60 for third. Always is a special race at home. Uh, I feel really good here in Sierra Nevada. I want to thank all the people who work for this, Sierra Nevada, all the volunteers, all the people who make really good job, and, uh, and that's it. Thank you to everybody. Muchas gracias a todos que estáis aquí, de verdad. Gracias a todos, os quiero mucho. It's always that little more special when you do it on home snow. And Lucas Aguivar does it again in Sierra Nevada to the delight of the hometown fans. Day two in Sierra Nevada and the conditions pretty similar to race number one. It was warm, the snow was soft, but the course was gonna hold up. In the women's big final, Banks and Trepush were in there again, this time joined by Petit Lenoir and Audrey McManaman. Petit Lenoir with the best of the starts, but Charlotte Banks lurking behind and an exceptional pass around the outside put Charlotte Banks into top spot. Chloe Trapush worked hard to get back in touch with the two leaders, and she chased down her teammate Petit Lenoir and made the pass before the finish line, but Banks doubles up in Sierra Nevada, going two for two, and picking up 200 World Cup points. Chloe Trapush second again, and Petit Lenoir picking up third place, McManaman in fourth for Canada. Well, an exceptional couple of days for Charlotte Banks from Great Britain, picking up the maximum 200 World Cup points. That will go some way to helping her reclaim the Crystal Globe that she won last season. Charlotte, this is your fourth win this season and the second one on this course. Looks like you're really on fire right now. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I felt pretty tired this morning and yeah, I mean, with the heat, it's, it's quite tough to, to be racing, but I think they did a great job on the track. It held up super well and yeah, it was a big fight the whole way through, but really happy to come up on top. And what is your secret? Uh, I don't know, I mean, just push hard from the start and yeah, really work on my carving. I mean, the banks are, are challenging, but you can really create some speed and that's really what I was focusing on. Petit Lenoir back on the World Cup podium, but 
this weekend. It has been all about Charlotte Banks from Great Britain. Two wins from two. And she is now at the top of the World Cup standings with just two races to go. In the men's final, Cali Coble was wearing yellow for Switzerland. Lucas Aguibar in there again for Spain. Merlin Serge from France and Lomba Zolo also from France. Aguibar got the lead after Serge had some problems, but he was pushed hard this time by Cali Coble from Switzerland. Aguibar looking to go for the double on home snow, but it was Cali Coble who held off the Spanish rider to claim his very first World Cup win. So 100 points to Coble, Equibar making it a pretty good weekend with another 80 World Cup points and Bazzolo on the podium in third place. So Equibar now is at the top of the World Cup standings by just seven points. Two races to go. Can he hold it when the tour moves to Canada? Kalin, this is your first World Cup victory. How does it feel? It feels really good. It feels really, really good. Especially after World Champs. That was not, uh, uh, did not go the way I went. And now I'm super happy with this weekend. Sixth place yesterday and today first. Really happy. What was your secret to overtake Lucas? Yeah, I was just staying on his tail and try to gain as much speed as possible. And when I had enough speed, I tried to pass. So Pozzolo in third place, second going to Lucas Aguibar. But the win going to Calais Coble from Switzerland for the first time in his career. A day that he is certainly going to remember. Well, this weekend in Sierra Nevada has been all about Charlotte Banks, Lucas Aguibar and Cali Coble. Aguibar and Banks now in the driving seat in the race for the Crystal Globe, which moves to Mont Saint-Anne in Canada for a double header from the 24th to the 26th of March.